Hey guys, how are you? Oh my goodness. Apparently the technology police are in the building and Facebook, I don't know what happened. Probably they did an update. I couldn't figure it out, so I couldn't I couldn't do it. But anyways, you guys, welcome! How are you all doing this summer? <laughs> I know I'm doing good. Absolutely. So I'm recording this through my computer. I don't know if I can download it to Facebook. I'll try to. I don't know if I can. Because um, you know how I am. Technology and I am not friends. <laughs> but my name is Artist Nicole, you guys. And, uh, yeah, I own Arf Artful Nights, Maine. And my rules are absolutely simple. Look at that seagull. Ooh, Mr. Seagull, I love you. Sit on my anchor, but do not eat my sandwich on the beach. Um, so yeah, my rules are simple. You guys at home, you eat, you drink, you have the most fabulous time in your life, and that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. But other than that, I have no rules. So what I mean by that is I'm going to teach you guys how to paint this glorious seagull on the, sitting on his anchor. Look at him. Oh, seagull, seagull in the sky. Do not turn it in my eye. <laughs> or else I will cry. <laughs> um, but if you want to do something totally different, okay, say you want to put your... Little old, say you want to put your uh, grandma Moses sitting on top of the, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Hold it up. Oh, now I'm blue. Say you want to put grandma Moses on top of that um, uh, anchor. You go for it because art is what makes your heart happy. There's no right or wrong. And the only thing about this that is making me totally sad is that I can't see you guys and get your comments. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we'll try to download this. We're going to see what happens tonight, all right? Say hello to your little seagull. Yeah. All right. So, the first thing that we're going to do with this beautiful, glorious seagull is I took the liberty of pouring your paints like about 20 minutes ago when I thought I was going to go Facebook Live, okay? So what we need for this one, they all kind of mesh together. But like I tell little kids, when your paint touches, that means you've got the lucky paint. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now I really got nobody to talk to, so forget about it. Okay. So uh, what you're going to need tonight is a generous amount of white, a little bit of light blue, some brown, black, and yellow. And that is it it my little party people to make this seagull fly oh oh right all right so what we're gonna do first you guys is we are going to for this lovely seagull everybody's gonna grab their medium brush okay here's my medium brush oh got a little itch there here's my medium brush okay and what we're gonna do with the medium brush what am i gonna call this guy hmm i'm gonna call him duty because that's what happens when the seagull decides that he's gonna fly over you when you're at the beach right you got these yummy little eaties and then you the seagull decides he's gonna duty on your shoulder so i'm gonna <laughs> that's funny but it's supposed to be good luck so i'm gonna call this this brush the duty brush okay duty judy all right and what we're gonna do with miss duty is you guys are going to take this brush, you are going to dip it in that beautiful light blue, and you're going to decide, all right, this is where my water stops and my sand begins, okay? There we go. Look at that. Because, you know, I mean, we can only have so much water on here, okay? So you guys are going to take that duty. You are going to put that little line right there. Look at that. Ooh -wee. All right. Look at that nice shoreline. And I would say that that's about a third, a little bit more than a third of the way up. Okay? You're not halfway with the water. All right. Now, what 
you're going to do next, my little party people, is everybody is going to grab their big old brush. Your big brush. Yeah, that's what I talk about, big brush. Let me see if I turn off this light, if that makes it better. Because it looks like I'm a little dark. Ooh, how you like that, huh? You see me better now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to call this big brush is, we are going to call this big brush the, uh, hmm, let's call this, what are we going to call them tonight? We're going to call this big brush the sea rat. Why? Because what are seagulls? They're basically sea rats. They eat just about anything, but they fly, so they're the sea. Get it? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do with our sea rat is we are going to do a technique that I like to call double dipping, right? Never okay at the Christmas party, but always fun when we're doing that, okay? So one side of this brush is going to be white, and the other side of my brush is going to be light blue. So we've got white and light blue. Now do not look at my nails today because I have decided that I was going to do this home project on my two days off. So I have been knee deep up in saws and dirty wood. Yeah, because you know, I'm building like this huge ship lamp wall in my room because I saw it on Pinterest. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so don't be looking at my nails. All right. So white and dark blue. Okay. Now. What you guys are going to do next, you're going to come in here and wash this. Oh, thank you, my little sea rat. We are going to stroke it, baby. Stroke it. We are going to put the motion in that ocean. Right? You know what I'm saying. Chicka, chicka, bow, bow. All right? <laughs> okay, and you're stroking left to right. And the reason why that we double dip is because look at what that does. Can you see that? It creates a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of motion in there, which we kind of like, you know? If you want your ocean more light blue, then add more light blue. If you want your ocean more light, then add more white. It's that simple. It's that simple, my potty people. And what tends to happen in the summertime is this paint has, you know, it has, it just does a little weird thing where it doesn't dry as well. I mean, it doesn't spread as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a little bit of paint water and I'm spreading this little bad boy out. Look at that. Boom, got a boom, got a. Here we go. We're going again. Oh, we're going again. Okay, and the whole top half of this canvas is going to be your ocean. Yes, it is. Yes, sir, Reapy. It is going to be your ocean, baby. Okay, look at that. Oh, all right. And if you need to come in with a little bit of water, come in with a little bit of water. No worries. Don't worry. Be happy. All right, look at that. Woo! Nice. Huh? Oh, no. You want to go swimming in that ocean water. I used to be able to swim in that ocean water when I was a young child. But these days, ooh, ocean up in Maine, it's cold. It's darn cold. You got to go in there. You got to get certain parts in there. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Never a good thing. Okay. So here we go. Look at that. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. Love it. Ooh, look at that. Grab a little more white. A little more light blue, and let's finish off this ocean. Look at that. Stroking her left to right, okay? That's all we're doing. Giving her a little stroke left and a little stroke white. Right. Fight. Nicole White. Fight, fight. Okay? There you go. Look at that. Boom. Looks like a sky, but it's an ocean. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Now... What you're going to do, oh, maybe I'll put a little more, a little more blue in my ocean. That way we'll really get a, get a looking nice and saucy. Okay? Now what you're going to do is you guys are going to paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. Why? Eh, 
but you never paint your bottom on the easel first because what's going to happen? You're going to get a sticky bottom. Nobody likes that, especially in the summertime. And when you go to pull that sucker up, you know what I'm saying? We don't want that. So what you guys are going to do, you're going to come around town, paint the top, paint the sides, baby. Paint your top, paint your sides, paint your mother's thighs. <laughs> Gonna don't do that, but anyways, yeah, that's the first thing that came to my head. Okay, now there we go. What we're gonna do next, you guys are going to boom, bada boom. Look at this. Ah, oh, painting my top. That's right, doing the right thing. Oh, yeah, okay. And when you're all finished, your ocean is gonna look like this, or your version of this, okay. You don't have your ocean look like my ocean, my ocean look like yours, and you know what I'm saying. All right. Now, what we're going to do next, you guys are going to wash off that sea rat. Give it a good bath, all right? Oh, scrubbing my sea rat. <laughs> okay. And what you're going to do next is you guys are going to decide, okay, so... This is where, what color sand I want, all right? And what I'm going to do to do that, what I'm going to do to do that is I am going to take my regular brown, all right, my regular brown, and a little bit of white. Look at that. I'm going to see red, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, Woo! look at that, bring it right up into that ocean. Okay, you don't have to worry about being perfect, or blah, 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 blah. but you are going to, okay, mix those two colors together until you find your perfect sand color. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. You're going to take a little bit of white, a little bit of brown. Look at that. All right, I'm not even thinking. Just bringing those colors together. And look, ooh, sand, right? Footprints in the sand. <laughs> That's all I got with that. But you know what's weird as I was sleeping this morning and all of a sudden I was like in this musical and I was ready to go on stage and sing this number and anybody that knows me knows I cannot sing but anyways so I was getting ready to go on stage and sing it and it's like oh I'm so wonderful and I remembered it when I woke up which was so bizarre so all morning I was singing my wonderful song from my musical in my dream which was goodness right I really got nobody to talk to you guys so now I really gotta talk to myself <laughs> Okay, and you're all finished when that sand looks like your version of that. You're going to bring her down on this side. Right, because we're painting our top, our sides, and our bottom. We're doing the right thing. Right, there you go. There's that. Oh, I got to leave my thumb hole here, though, or else I'm going to be a paint monster. Okay, nobody likes the paint monster. There we go. Ooh. Oh, what a nice little ocean you have there, Nicole. Why, thank you. Okay, there you go. It's that simple. We've got our sand. We've got our water. All right. Now, what I am going to do next is, what can I see this spot where my sand didn't cover the canvas? Canvas is a weird lately. They're not as gessoed as they used to be. All right, so, boom, bada, boom, get right in there, make sure there's none naked spots on that canvas. Okay, now, what you guys are going to do next is you're going to take your awesome little sea rat, you're going to give it a bath, you're going to come over here, oh, yeah, mm-hmm, Ocean waves, whoosh, whoosh, right? 
Well, what's going on here? Come on, man. Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do next, okay? You're going to take your crazy hair dryer. We're going to dry off this background. Just like this. Now the only thing that makes me sad tonight, you guys, is like you can't I can't talk to you. You know what I'm saying? You know I need that interaction to keep me going. <laughs> Otherwise I gotta talk to myself. That's no fun. Alright. So the next thing that I'm gonna have you guys do, you've got this beautiful sea ocean. You've got this beautiful water. What we're going to do next, you guys, is we are going to create sea foam. Because if anybody knows the ocean, you know how it... Right? And it comes in and it crashes and all that other stuff. So, what I'm going to have you guys do is everybody is going to take their medium brush. All right? Now, your medium brush may be different than my medium brush, but that's all right. Relatively, as long as it's a soft medium brush. That's what we're going for here, okay? Nice, soft brush. All right? And I'm going to teach you a technique to make foam, snow, clouds, anything that's puffy, all right? And this is a technique I think I might have developed myself. I don't know, because I've never heard anybody else talk about it. But I call it the Pekka technique, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to turn that medium brush into a Pekka, right? What does a Pekka do? That's right, it packs, right? Well, that's what we're going to be doing with this brush, okay? So you guys are going to grab this brush, you are going to stick it into your white, okay? And then once you have that loaded up with white, you're going to tap, tap, tap on your plate to get most of that paint off your brush. What? I know, okay? And here we go. We're going to take that pecker and we're going to go right along the edge of this canvas. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, pecky, 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 pecky. And, whoop, looks like my brown was still a little wet, but that's all right. Okay, the more paint you get off this brush, then the fuzzier your sea foam is going to come out, which is what you want. You want some nice fuzzy sea foam, right? So here we go. Ooh, and I'm turning my brush in all different directions. Look at that. Oh, look at that wave crossing. Oh, look at that wave crashing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Have fun with it. Make noises with it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Okay, look at that. Ooh, wee. Oh, that's a big old wave. Look at those waves crawling up. Okay, right over here. Keep on tapping. You want to make sure you don't get too much paint on this brush because if you do, it's just not going to look like you want. It's going to look like goopy doopy doopy do. Okay, see that? Oh, that looking foamy, isn't it? Mm. No, I want to go jump in that wave. I don't want to get pulled in by the undertow, though. That's what happens sometimes in Maine. You get pulled in by the undertow, and it grabs you, and it pulls you to shore, and usually rips off your bathing suit. And, you know, it's never a good thing. All right, so here we go. And we're going to come along this side. And listen, you can almost hear it like a drum, right? 
I can almost hear it like a drum because I am packing so darn hard. Look at that. All right, look at that. Ooh, da da, ooh 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 da da. Look at that. Okay. There, there we go. Look at that, you guys. And you want to make sure that you have enough sea foam that you're covering the entire brown shoreline. Okay, look at that. Get right in there. Cover that shoreline. Ooh! There we go. Nice. Okay. Nice. And you guys do not. Oh, look at that wet spot. I don't like that. You don't want it. You don't want it to go straight across. Okay. So if you feel like your shoreline is going straight across, because that's not how it works in the real world. When those waves come in, they're like, you know, all right. So you guys want to make sure that you're having this wave do its powerful thing, but it's not going straight across, right? Because it's coming in from all different angles. Look at that. Okay, do you see that? Yes, sir. Oh, that looks so good, Nicole. I know it does. I know it does, you guys. And anybody can learn the pecker technique. Let me tell you what, because the pecker technique is rocking. So you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so there's my first wave. That's that wave that's coming in and it's shooting up on that shoreline, okay? Now what I want to do is, like I said, I'm just, I want to make sure that I can't see that sand underneath. So I'm just kind of pecking that white along that edge line, okay? Beautiful. Now what you guys are going to do, we're going to move further into the ocean, okay? Now this is like when you watch waves come in, they come in in a succession, right? There's one, then there's one behind that, then there's one behind that, okay? So what I'm going to have you do, look at this. Oh, look, here comes the next one, right? We're going to peck out the next one out in that ocean, okay? Not as dramatic, not as amazing as this one, but look. Just a little ocean line, okay, that's coming in, showing you that the next one's about to hit that shore, okay? This is a calm day on, well, for me, it would be the Atlantic Ocean, okay? Calm day on the Atlantic Ocean. And as I said, you want to make sure, you guys, that this is not in a straight line because that is not how the ocean works. It is a very, very powerful, powerful, dramatic thing. Yes, she's so dramatic. Okay, look at that. Ooh, ooh. There we go. There's that second wave as it pops along the shore. Get ready to go. Okay? And then the further I go out into the ocean, okay, here's a third wave. But this wave has just got a few little... You know, it's not as crazy as the rest of them. Look at that. We're just going to add a little idea of a third wave back there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look. Ooh. And these are just little light peckings, just so you know that there's motion in that ocean. See that? Little light peckings. Okay. Look at that. There we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Look, oh, yes. See that, everybody? Oh, that's wonderful. That is just wonderful, okay? Can you see that? All right, now there is my beautiful wave action right in that ocean. Pretty exciting, pretty amazing. Look at that, yeehaw, okay? Now, for those of you who go tiptoeing in the tulips, on the beach, right? You know, I know I did it as a kid. What happens is, excuse me, when those waves come in, what they do is they wash along that shoreline. And what that does is it causes the sand to get wet. So the sand gets darker, okay? Right, right underneath those waves. See this area right here? 
So what I'm going to have you guys do next, we're going to grab our, uh, hmm, what I call this guy? I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, I know, the duty. We're going to grab our duty again. <laughs> duty, duty. <laughs> Forget the duty. All right. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to grab a full on shot of brown. Okay. Not brown and white, brown. All right. We're going to tap, tap, tap on our plate. All right. Look at that. We got most of that. Look at how, oh, that looks like my hair in the morning. Oh. <laughs> okay. And what you guys are going to do is you're gonna peck this kind of underneath that wave, all right? Because what this is, is this is that wet sand that, do you see what I'm doing? Okay, that's that wet sand that you get when you uh, have that water washing in on those waves, okay? So there we go. We're gonna add just a little layer of this. This is where that little sand gets. Okay, look at that. All right. And then again, you guys don't want it to be straight. Why? Well, we know why. Because that water never follows a straight pattern, does it? Okay? So we're tapping this in. We're bringing it in just like this. Look at that. Super duper. Okay, all right, oh, man, we'll go up in here. All right, we're still tappy, tap, tap, tapping, just like a little happy woodpecker. Okay, oh, look at that. Look at that, see that? Oh, yes. And if you guys went too tamperific, okay, which is kind of what I did over here, all right, can you see that? I feel like that's just a little too much of that dark sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, see, sometimes I make mistakes so that I can show you how to do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of that brown and white. I'm going to mix them together. Tap, tap, tap on my plate. And look at this. I'm going to come back in with a little bit of sand. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. Look at that. Boom. Boom. See that? Ooh, we're cleaning her up. We are cleaning her up, everybody. Okay, look. Boom. Boom, look. We're bringing it up in. Look at that, you guys. Awesome. Okay, look at that. And there we go. Now we have that setting that we need so that we can put our anchor in. And we can make this bad boy soar like the wind. Okay? Yeah! I know it. I know it. Okay. Now, normally I'd take a half time, but nobody's really here. Because <laughs> I'm recording it. But what I do want to say is that you guys, uh, the one thing I love is that I can't see folks when I'm doing these Facebook Lives. So if you could send me copies of your pictures, I've created this group on Facebook. It's called, uh, I changed the name to um, Artful Nights Main Artist Nicole Group. I can't remember the name of it because you know me. I got like a two second memory. But Artful Nights Main, and so what you guys can do is you, when you're all finished, you join the group, okay, and you share your artwork on there, or you can send it to me through Messenger through my Artful Nights Main Facebook page. That's why I tell you guys to like the page. Um, so send it to me there, and I'll make sure it gets posted for everybody to see your beautiful artwork because that makes my heart happy because I can't see your faces, okay? And um, what else? Oh, our next painting, which is upstairs. I'm going to go grab that for you, okay?
wonderful people. Here we go. Whoops, what's going on here? Hmm. All right, hold on. There we go. Ah, there I am. Okay. So, um, so our next free Facebook Live is two Sundays from yesterday, okay? And we are going to be painting these beautiful lupins. All right, lupine. All right, so that is in two weeks. Two weeks, so two Sundays. Not next Sunday, but Sunday after. And then I am also doing some of my events that I do in the real world. I'm doing them as fa paid Facebook Lives so that folks can have an opportunity to do some of my other paintings too. So this one is coming up, and this is the Lobster Buoys. Now my paid Facebook Lives are about a three-hour event because they're pretty intense, and they have a lot of detail. And when I teach in the real world, we got a lot more detail than I do on the free Facebook Lives. But anyway, so we are doing lobster buoys. That's coming up. I believe that is in a couple weeks. Not sure the date because I have way too many events. Okay? But anyway, so that one is coming up too. If you would like to do that. And it's like $15.99 for that paid event to three-hour event. You invite all your friends and family and all that other stuff. Have a party at your house. Same with the same with the free Facebook lives. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, have a party. All right. All right, and that's it. There's my halftime speech, okay? Now, what we're going to do next is you guys are going to come in and we are going to create this beautiful Inca. Inca, 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 All right, so what we're going to do is I'm first going to have you guys grab your little uh, duty. Grab your duty brush, all right? Because what I'm going to have you do is first we're just going to shape out the anchor. All right. Now, notice this. The anchor is on a tilt. Can you guys see that? It's tilted and it's buried in the sand. All right. So, first thing I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to take your little duty. Here we go. And you're just going to make a line like this. Do de do de do de do de do de do de. Okay, see that? Make a line in the sand, everybody, and that is it. Okay, see this? Woo! There you go. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. And it's a it's a diagonal line because again our anchor is tilted. Alright, see that? Easy peasy pumpkin pie, you guys. Look at that. Ooh, nice. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to fatten that up. So take that little duty brush, all right, and you're going to add some girth on that anchor. And I would say about two widths apart, all right? So in total, my guess would be that the shaft of this anchor is about an inch. Right, about an inch wide total. There we go. Yes. Oh, mighty nice anchor you have there, Nicole. Wow, thank you. Okay, now what you're going to do next is you guys are going to come in and you're going to create a Kool Aid smile under this anchor. You ready for this? Ooh, look at that. Just like that. Here we go. A nice Kool-Aid smile. Okay, see that? Look at that. Everybody can do a smile, right? <laughs> yeah, you can. Now, if I'm taking this painting and it's flat, notice that the angle of that smile, look, Oh, there we go. The angle of that smile is 
tilted the same way as that anchor, okay? My anchor's this way, so my smile goes this way. There we go. Look at that. Yippee skippy, okay? Now, from there, what you're going to do is you're going to take from the top of the smile, you're going to go to the bottom of the anchor, okay? So the edge of that smile goes to the bottom of the anchor on that side. And then, same thing on the other side. Edge of the smile goes to the bottom of the anchor. Look at that. There you go. Look. Boom. See that? Perfect. All right. Now, you're going to start about an inch up on that shaft, and you're going to go whoop. See that? And an inch up on the other side of the shaft, same width and brr. See that? Now it looks like one side of mine is bigger than the other, so I'm just going to bring this smile up a little higher on this side. There you go. Look at that. Okay? And then you're just going to paint this in. Paint in that anchor. Paint her in. Right at the bottom. Make sure it's nice and smooth because this is one unit, okay? One unit, just like that. All right. And smooth rub. Okay. There we go. And you're just going to paint this whole thing in black, just like this. All right, whole bottom black. And again, I can see how this side is being a little funky, so I'm going to bring it up so that it matches the other side. But again, it's on its health, right? Oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. And there we go. So you want to make sure that even though it's on a tilt, that both sides of that anchor match. Okay? Wonderful. Now, on the edge of each one of these smiles, what you're going to put is a little triangle. Okay? And if you feel much more comfortable using your little brush to do this, then use your little brush. There's no prize for using your big brush, okay? See that? There we go. We're going to paint that in. All right. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put a little triangle pointing up. There we go. And you're going to fill it in. Just like that. All right, look at that. Ooh, that's a mighty nice anchor you have there, Nicole. Why, thank you. Okay? And any part of that anchor that you need to fill in, just go in there. Okay? Like I said, the biggest thing is that both of these sides of the anchor, even though it's on an angle, that both of these sides match. Okay? There. All right. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to work on the top of our anchor, all right? Now, this is the bottom of our anchor, but then we're going to work on the top of the anchor, okay? Oh, I'm having an issue with both of those sides matching, let me tell you. So, I'm going to make sure they match. There. That's just going to drive me crazy. Crazy than I already am. That's not a good thing. All right. And I'm going to make sure that the sides of my shaft are all painted in nice and solid. Oh. Okay, we don't want any wussy anchors. All right, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do next, okay, 
you are going to take your duty. Yeah, a little duty brush. Now, this is on an angle, okay? It's on an angle, so these lines have to be on an angle. All right, so make sure that canvas is flat. And there you go. Here's your first one. Okay? Here's number one, right at the top. Now, when your canvas is flat, you will be able to find that angle. Okay? See that? Boom! There's number one. Okay? Then, what you're going to do is you're going to come in here with the same brush, and you're going to make a second line. But this line is going to overlap that first line. All right, see that? Yes, yeah. She's overlapping, all right. Okay. Now, for the next line, what you're going to do is this one is going to overlap even further. All right. On both sides. Even further. Right? However, on one side, it's going to go up like this. Right? And on the other side, see, it's going to come up like that. So you're going to give it a doo doo. And then on the other side, it's going to go down like this. So matching, but going in opposite directions, okay? Now that is my canvas flat, just like that. All right. Now, what I am going to do next is I'm going to bring in another one, except this one is going to be equal to the one that was right below this one. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So I added another line that is equal to this line right here, this guy. See this one we made? Jeffrey's tilted. Okay. Bam. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to give this top of the anchor a horseshoe or a ring. All right. Ooh. Here we go. All right. A little ring just like that. And make sure that this ring is all painted in solid, just like this. All right? Ring around that rosy. Look at that. Boom. Okay? There's your ring on top. All right, because every anchor needs a ring, I tell ya. Okay, see that? And now you have your ring on the top. Ring, ring. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, what everybody is going to do next is what that ring does is it attaches to the chain that attaches to the boat, right? But our anchor is in the sand, so... What you guys are going to do is you are going to attach that ring, okay? You're going to attach it to a chain just like this, all right? Got a little piece of chain still stuck to it. All right. So, how do I do my chain, you ask? Well, easy peasy. I've got my little brush. I'm going to call this brush the tip mouse, okay? And a chain is a universal thing. So when you go, oh, look at that little paint on my neck. Oh, I just got excited. All right, now, 
when you go to paint the circles of your chain, they're all going to be the same, mm, the same um, size, okay? So, for example, I'm going to start my chain right here, all right? And I'm kind of going to come in, and I'm going to take my little titmouse brush, okay? Now, these circles, they're kind of square. I don't know, they're kind of squared off at the end, right? Because it's a chain. Look at this. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Let me show you. All right. Boom. We're going to keep this simple. Okay. This, whoops. Here we go. All right. Hold on one second. I bet you can still hear me. However, I can't see me. We are here. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> so there's number one. Okay. Can you see that first ring? Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come below it, but I'm going to give about a quarter of an inch. Okay. About a quarter of an inch in between those chain parts. All right. And it's going to be the same chain shape that I did right above it, okay? So what I'm going to do next, because it's easier for me to do this on my thingamadingy, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on drawing those chain links, giving them about a, um, what do you call it? about a quarter of an inch in between each circle. All right, and I'm just gonna keep on going with that chain. I'm gonna keep on going all the way down. I'm gonna bend it out so that it can land in the sand. All right, so here we go, watch this. I'm gonna start to bend that chain, right? So here we go. I'm gonna bend it out, boom. Look at that. Ooh, nice, nice chain you got there, Anchor. Okay, look at that. All right, see that? Now I'm bending it out. And I'm gonna come in, gonna keep on going down. All right, make those noises, talk to your chain because it'll come out better. Ah. Yes, sir. There we go. There's another one. And I'm going to keep on going down in the sand, right? And they're kind of like a circle, but they've kind of got a little bit of a square edge on them. All right. See that? There we go. Keep on a going. Going down, down, baby. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, watch that. Oh, another nice little link you've got there, Missy. Okay, wanna keep on going down. Like I said, I'm kind of bending it down so that it doesn't land on the point of that anchor, but so that it does land in my sand. Okay, that one. And here we go. Now I'm going to really tilt it down because it's hit the sand, right? And the sand is like, oh, you're not straight anymore. Okay, see that? Boom. And maybe I'll add just one more link just because I feel like it. Okay. Here's my last link. There. See that? Beautiful, you guys. Oh, I got to add a little up there. All right, now that was easy, wasn't it? Just a bunch of circles going down in the sand. Now, to attach those links, what we have to do is we have to add the other circle that goes this way. But the beauty of that is when we're painting that, it's just the line, okay? So watch this. I'm gonna start right in the, like right towards the edge of this circle. 
and I'm going to go just like this. All right. See that? Ooh, there's my other link. Okay. And it only goes, see how far that goes? It doesn't go all the way through the circle. It's tying it kind of towards the edge of the circle. And then it just goes down like this. See that? Can't really see that one because black on black, you can't see. All right, here we go. Ready? And there. Look at that. Okay, there's another one. Oh, that one I can see. Thank you, Nicole. You're welcome. All right. Now, there's this one. And I'm just going to keep on going all the way until I get to the bottom of that chain. There we go. Just a little bit of an overlap on that circle. There we go. All right. There's this one. Oh, yes, there. That one. Okay. And then when my chain starts to go out, so do my links. See that? Starting to angle out, just like that chain is angling. There we go. Yeah, see that? Boom. And then the last one. There. All right, there's my last link. Just like that. Okay? Beautiful. I love it. You guys just made your first chain. Good job. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take your hair dryer and you guys are going to dry off that anchor completely. Okay? So here we go. Chain is dry and my anchor is dry. Well, for the most part, the parts that I need to be dry, they're dry. All right. So what I'm going to have you guys do next is you guys are going to grab your big old brush, which, you know, I got a five second memory. I can't remember the name of it. And, oh, see that. Huh? What do you think of that? Okay, and what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you grab a little bit of brown on it and a little bit of white, okay? Because what we need to do is we need to bury this anchor in the sand, okay? So here we go. We're going to take that little brown, that little white. Watch this. Okay, we're going to bury that anchor in the sand. We're going to bring that sand up right on the bottom of that anchor. So just like when we were putting that sand in there the first time. See that? Beautiful. Okay? And we're going to do the same thing with that little last link of our chain. Okay? It's going to be a little visible, but I want you to bury it in the sand a little bit. Okay? And how you do that is you're just going to come in with that brown and white, and boom, bada, boom. Look at that. Okay, look at that. There we go. See that? That sand, that wind's blowing. Whoosh, blowing the sand on top of your anchor. <laughs> okay, look at that. 
All right. Now, what we have to do is we have to give that anchor some depth and dimension. Why? Because black on black is hard to see. So what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to take your little itty bitty tip mouse, okay, your little brush, this guy right here, all right, and what we're going to do is you guys are going to dip it in the white, okay, so make sure that you've got a nice fine point on it, okay, and on the inside of this chain, so the side that is closest to your uh, this thingy, the little anchor circle, you're going to put a little white there. And then you're going to put a thin layer of white right down the middle of that chain link. Can you guys see that? There you go. All right. So we're going to do the same thing to the entire chain. You're going to put a tiny little bit of white on the inside of that link. See that? And then you're gonna put a tiny strip, just like a little Pepe Le Pew, down the middle of that chain. Okay, see that? And you're gonna continue to do that all the way down. So you're gonna go Okay, and remember that that link is on top. So don't bring that white line across your link line, okay? There we go. Whoop. Just like that. Love it. Yeah, you got it. You got it, you guys. You're the superstars. All right. Whoop. And boop. See that? Okay. And you're going to do that down the entire length of that chain. Whoop. Whoop. Make those noises, it'll come out better. Okay, always on the inside, same side, because it's like the sun is catching that side of the chain and illuminating it. Illumination. Okay. There we go. And there's that. Oh, oh come back to me, light. Come to mama. All right, and then once you get to that sand, pretty much that little highlight stops, but you can add it if you want. You just don't want it on, you know, too much in that sand, okay? There you go. Look at that. Now you've really created a chain. How you feeling? You feel good, don't you? Yeah, I created a chain tonight. Good for you. Okay. All right, you guys, now it is time for your bird friend, your little bird turd. Yes, it is. It's time to make that seagull, that little sea rat, all right? So I'm going to make this easy peasy pumpkin pie, okay? The first thing that you guys are going to do with that seagull, okay, is, you are going to, all right, now remember, his little feetsies are hanging off, hanging on, um, hanging on the uh, little thing. So what you need to do is you're going to make this body about a quarter of an inch, okay, um, above the thingy, all right? Now watch this, I'm gonna take you right through it. Here we go. Now the back of that seagull looks like a teardrop, okay? Looks like a teardrop. Look at this, hold on. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing once I do it, okay? There we go, there's his little seagull breast. There we go, look at that. Ooh. Okay. There. Okay. So there we go. It looks like, now I'm going to straighten this out so you guys can see this. All right. Now, now my board is straight and it looks like a teardrop, doesn't it? And that teardrop is pointed this way, 
right? Ooh, this way. Okay? But the seagull, even though the anchor is crooked, the seagull is straight, okay? So we are painting this so that the seagull is straight. All right? There you go. Now, once I get that shape in, what I'm going to do is... I am going to add a gumdrop head on this seagull. Now, unlike other birds, okay, every bird is different. But this seagull, his head, can you see that? His head comes straight up from the front of his breast, just like this, all right? And then you're just going to make a little gumdrop. See that? There you go. Okay, so we've got a teardrop and a gumdrop. Goody, goody, gumdrop. Okay, now you guys know what I forgot to do. I will tell you what I forgot to do. I forgot to grab orange, so I'm going to go grab that. I'll be right back. Here I am with my orange. Okay, now, now that you've got your teardrop and your gumdrop, what you guys are going to do is you're going to take your medium brush. You're going to take that little duty brush. All right, and you guys are going to paint in your gumdrop and your uh, teardrop. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take this, we're going to come in, and we're going to paint this all in white. There's my gumdrop, and here's my teardrop. See that? The whole thing is going to be white, just like this. All right. Yes. Yes, Nicole. Oh, this is easy peasy pumpkin pie. Oh, yes, it is. Right? I can do a teardrop and a gumdrop. Yes, you can. Okay, there we go. Woo, look at that. Boom. Okay, so there we go. Look, I got a teardrop and a gumdrop. Happy days. All right. Now, I'm going to take my little tip mouse brush, okay, and a tiny bit of orange. All right, I'm going to pour that on my plate because I forgot my orange. Oops. He needs orange feet. All right, and what I'm going to do is on the bottom of this guy, I'm going to take my little itty bitty. Here we go. And we're going to go one and two. Okay, look at that. One and two right on the bottom. And then you're just going to give him little seagull feet which is one, two, three, okay, and one, two, three, there, here's his little seagull feet holding on to that anchor, he says, oh, I'm holding on for dear life, I am. Okay, because this is a big anchor and I'm a little bird. All right, now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is you're going to take your little brush, all right? You guys are going to grab a little bit of white, all right? Put it on the side of your paint plate. I know this is awkward because this is not my normal thing, so I'm having a hard time doing this. But you guys are going to make a very, very light gray, okay? Very, very light gray. And you do that by mixing white and a tiny, tiny bit of black, okay? Black is a naughty color. It loves to take over. It loves to travel. So you kind of want to go for this part. You want to go four parts white, one part black, okay? So 
nice light gray. Look at this. Ooh, nice light gray. Ooh, I pinch you. I pinch you. Okay. <laughs> and what you guys are going to do is you're going to come in here, all right, and you're going to bring this gray right about right around here. Okay. So see that? You're going to bring that gray through there, and you're just going to end up painting his back and this part of him. Okay, see that? With that light gray. There we go. All right. Yeah. And when you're all finished, okay, it should look like your version of this. All right. There you go. See that? Boom. White and a little bit of gray. Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do next, and notice how that gray goes a little bit up into his head. Okay, see how that gray goes a little bit up into his head? You got it, you guys. You can do this. Okay. So, the biggest thing about birds, what makes them different than other birds and blah, 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 is their beak. You always got to focus on that beak because different birds have different beaks. And if you mess up the beak, it doesn't look like the bird that you're going for. So I'm going to show you this little guy's beak. He does have like an overlap because he's like a predatory type bird. He'll eat just about anything. So he needs that for his chua. Okay, so what we're going to do next is you guys are going to clean off your little tip mouse. Okay, clean her off nice and good. Dry it off so you don't get the dripsies. And I'm going to have you guys squeeze it out just like this. Okay, you're going to squeeze it out so it is nice and thin. Look at that. Oh, whoops, where is it? Oh, tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you put a little bit of yellow on it, okay? And right about the midpoint of that gumdrop, you guys are going to come out and you are going to make the top of that beak, all right, which is just a line and a hook, a line and a hook, okay? See that? There's the top half of that beak. It's just a line and a hook. Now, you're going to come in and you're going to make the bottom half of that beak, which is just another line that comes beneath that hook. Okay? So, here we go. We've got our line and our hook. And then we've got another line right beneath it, just another yellow line. Okay. Line and a hook. And another yellow line right beneath it. All right. Now, what you guys are going to do next? You're going to take that tip mouse, you're going to clean it off again. Clean it off so it's nice and clean, and you're going to squeeze her out, squeeze her out so she's really, really thin, okay? Really tiny on the tip. And with a very light touch, what you're going to do is you're going to bring a nice thin line between the two halves of that beak, okay? So watch this. I'm going to take my brush, just a tiny bit of black on it. And I'm going to come in and right between the two halves of that beak, I am going to put a thin line. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Can you see that? So a thin black line between the two halves of that beak. There. Okay. Now, what you're going to do next 
is you're going to take your brush that has the tiniest tip on the end. For me, it's my uh, poopy brush. My, um, yeah, okay? This is my tiniest tip. Not the brush part, but the tip part, okay? So you guys are going to find your brush that has the tiniest tip. All right, and you're going to dip that in the black. And with a very light touch, okay, we're going to make a tiny little black circle for the eye. Look at that. Boom. See that? Oh, hello. Oh, you're starting to look like a seagull. I like it. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, now what you guys are going to do next is you're going to take your tip mouse again. You're going to clean off that little detail brush. All right. And what I'm going to have you guys do next is the gray that you already made for the body. You're just going to add about that much black to it. So this is the gray that you already made for the body. Okay. You're going to add about that much black to it. And what we're going to do is we are creating a little bit of a darker gray. Okay. What we're going to do in that darker gray is you guys are going to come in into this body. All right. Right along here. And you are going to paint in a wing. A wingy, wingy, wingy. Okay. And the wing looks like this. All right, it follows the body. However, see that? Okay, it follows the body. However, it is not, um, you know, it doesn't go to the outside of the body, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that dark gray that you just made and a little bit of white on the other side. So dark gray and white. And you're going to come in and you're going to paint in this wing. And the reason that I'm having you use two colors instead of one is because it's going to give that wing a little bit of depth and dimension. See that? So you're going to use a dark gray, a little bit of white, and look at this. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, I see, Nicole. I see what's happening. Okay. There you go. And if you need to, grab just some white on your brush. All right? Just a little bit of white and just kind of work it in so you can see a few feathers in that wing. Okay, just like this. Look at that. See that? Beautiful, you guys. Oh my goodness, you're getting so good. Okay. All right, you can work a little bit more white in there. See that? Just to give that wing a little something, something. Okay? Now. The last thing that we are going to do on this bird is I've got my gray on my brush already and I got my white and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a third color. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black on my brush. So I have gray, white, and black. All right. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to come in right about here and I'm just going to extend that tail. Okay, so let me just show you what I'm doing here. Like, Nicole, I can't see what you're doing. Your hand's in the way. I know, but I can't paint without my hand. Okay, so I'm going to extend that tail. All right, my stuff is getting a little dry, so I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. All right, and that black and that gray. Okay, and here we go. I'm going to come in. And I am going to paint this in just like this. Okay, so that tail is going to go along. All right, here we go. Don't you give up on me now, computer. All 
right? Okay, there's that tail. And then in the end of that tail, what we're going to do is you guys are going to take a tiny brush and you're just going to give a few wispies like this. Okay, just a few wispies. And where's a wispy? I don't know what you mean. Okay, see that? Just like that. Just give it a few wispies. Whoa. All right. There we go. Maybe I'll give her a little girth on top here. Why? Just because I want to. Okay. Bring that tail in a little more. Just like that. And there you go, you guys. Look at that. Once you get that beautiful tail on that seagull, look at that. Go, go. Okay, now that seagull is ready to steal your lunch on the beach. All right? So you have completed your masterpiece. <laughs> You're going to come in, right, grab that little titmouse, put your famous artist signature in the lower left or right-hand corner. The same artist signature you're going to use for the rest of your life so that when you guys put these in the Metropolitan Museum of Art next week, what's going to happen? Oh, they're going to know who did it. Okay, there you go. Now, once I get this figured out, how I'm going to get this on Facebook, I'm going to try to download it on Facebook. I'm going to download it on my YouTube. And I apologize for the... Whatever happened on Facebook tonight, Facebook was being a little turkey worky. All right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you two Sundays from now for Lupins, and I think it may even be next week. I don't know when the boobies are, but you can find it on my Artful Nights main Facebook page. Make sure you join the group, and my YouTube channel is, you go right on your television, you look for Artful Nights Main, you search that on your YouTube channel, on your smart TV, and boom -ba! I've got about 45 tutorials on there. Okay? Artist Nicole, I love you guys. Bye, everybody. Have